What's going on YouTube? Gias right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the status of the iOS 12, iOS 11.4.x, jailbreak, and of course, we're going to also discuss about Cilium. A lot of things have piled up and I discussed about them in my previous videos, but I want to make a video to pretty much, you know, put them all in a single video so that people can understand them easier and find them easier. So I'm going to start with Cilio. Yes, Cilio is about to be released. Dennis Bednarz and Coolstar have tested just a couple hours ago a package installed with Cilium and they managed to successfully install the Mojito theme by Dennis Bednarz using Cilio. So yeah, it's pretty much ready at this point. There are some things to be done before it can be released and replace Cydia, but yes, it's almost done and it does work. I talked about the design and how it works and so on in my previous video, so definitely check it out. But yes, the first test has been done, so it's definitely close. And no, contrary to some popular belief, it's not going to only be available on iOS 12. It will be released on iOS 11 as well, according to Coolstar, so do not worry about that. If you want to use it on Electra, it will definitely come to the Electra as well. Now, speaking about iOS 12, as you probably know, there is a new exploit available by Simon Ferrini and JN Doc. They managed to successfully exploit the iOS 12 Beta 12, which at this point in time when I'm filming this video is the latest version of the beta available from the Apple Developer Portal. So this is quite good news since this means that iOS 12 already has kernel exploits and if you remember, Yumang, one of the Electra team members, also announced a kernel exploit for the iOS 12. In fact, two of them. So if you take this into consideration, you probably will realize that iOS 12 does look a lot better than the iOS 11.4.1 at this point. In fact, iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 don't look very good. If you take a look in here, iOS 11.4.1 is currently signed. But for the iOS 11.4.1, there is literally no no exploit available, there hasn't been any exploit announced in the future, and of course we do not know whether there will be one or not. They might as well skip it since of course iOS 12 has already been pounded, and of course you can update to iOS 12. Now I'm not saying you should update to iOS 12 if you're running iOS 11.4, what I'm saying is that for the moment iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 do not look very well in terms of jailbreaking and neither in terms of speed. iOS 12 is actually very very fast, so fast that it led me to believe that it's based on iOS 10. It isn't, apparently it was just a rumor, but yeah, we do not really know. It can be based on multiple things. Apple can reuse code if they want to, and I guess there is not much we can do in order to learn what is based on, but it's definitely not based only on iOS 10, as some rumors have made it look like. So yeah, but iOS 12 is definitely a fast, fast operating system, and at this point I would pretty much update. Now I do not recommend you to update, keep that in mind. Now I will make a video about this in the future, telling you whether you should stay on iOS 12 or iOS 11.4.1 and so on, but for the moment iOS 12 does seem to look better since it has three different exploits available for the kernel, which is pretty much the foundation we need for a jailbreak, while iOS 11.4.1 4.1 has absolutely none. So yeah, you do the maths. But anyways, this is pretty much what happened in the past couple of days. A new kernel exploit, very important, has been announced and Cilio is almost ready. The first test has been done a few hours ago and they managed to install a theme successfully, which is definitely great because it means that it's pretty much ready at this point. But there might still be challenges that we have to overcome on iOS 12, even though we have a kernel exploit. So yeah, we have to be ready for that. Anyways, Thank you for watching guys, this video has been sponsored by Wondershare, who are currently running a contest where you can pretty much win a full license for the Dr. Phone iOS toolkit that they have in order to keep your iOS device in shape. So all you have to do is to navigate to this page in here, the link will be in the description down below, and all you need to do is to select whether you want to stay on iOS 11 or 12 in the future. And you are pretty much going to enter in the contest and you can win a full license for the Dr. Phone iOS toolkit, which helps you recover data, 
fix your phone if it breaks and gets into the recovery mode, and many, many other things. Definitely check them out. I think it's a good idea. And of course, the uh, toolkit contains quite a lot of tools, as you can see here, like data transfer, backup and restore, restore social applications, unlock, erase, switch, and recover. So you get quite a lot of tools, and it's definitely a good giveaway, in my opinion. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm GS now. Until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.